Hello and welcome back to part 4 of this Lord of the Rings Rise to War video uh, playing through the first 24 hours of Mr. Cuddles. As you can see we are just completing chapter 12 because we've moved forward a little bit and we are hopefully going to move halfway through uh, chapter 13 instantly if we're lucky which is the elite leadership chapter. Um, so it looks like we've got a few bits and bobs and this leads us on to my favourite building apart from probably the main hall I would say it's the most important of all the buildings that you build, uh, the military academy. It gives you extra command in battle which particularly early game is like gaining three levels of effects you kind of get a little bit more command so it will help you massively beat tiles easier the higher you can get it when it comes to PvP, the better, because as soon as it gets to 10, you, you tend to be in front of other people. So it is my building that I always go to and try and keep it um, building as much as I can and maxed out. The other benefit is, obviously, uh, the more commands you have, the less likely you are to get increased losses on tiles. So uh, it is a massive, massive boost early game when it comes to trying to beat uh, your tiles and get ahead in the production race. Uh, as you can see there, we have just put some more troops onto conscript. And it's just a quick look in where we are now. So in the personal production power, we're up to 110, which is another improvement. And um, yeah, so we're, we're into taking still 60s, I believe, at this stage. And I would think we're probably going to switch to 90s at some point soon. What you'll see from the footage is we're still scouting with uh, as little troops as we can. And uh, we will continue that theme throughout all the videos because, as I've already expressed, it's uh, it's really important to scout. And as you'll see in a second, I'm going to make an error, which I'm going to claim was on purpose, but it actually wasn't. So it's just a quick video into resetting your ring as well. As you can see, we've just moved to ring level 10, which means I should have just put that point into dominance, but I didn't. So in a few seconds time in my wisdom i remember that i should have done that and i switch it back but it does show just a quick glimpse into how to reset your ring in the top corner which is very important uh, you will need to flick the sort of skills around on your ring from from time to time um there are many different ways of skilling the ring particularly early season um i will always make sure though if i can i will max out enormous power first and keep dominance as up to date as possible it tends to upgrade every 10 ring levels or so until about ring level 50, I think it is, and then it skips to every 20 ring levels or so. Dominance is a really important skill. Um, it allows you to have an extra 10 tiles, which obviously increases your resources and um, allows you to, your commanders to keep taking tiles, which is important for the XP gains early season. Also, um, as for enormous power, the... Um, the points it gives you i think for gathering resources is invaluable particularly in the first 24 hours but beyond that as well um any bottleneck you've got the more points you have the more you can actually collect so i do think they're the two most important skills uh, on the ring early on i know some people do go into sort of a levy system at that point i kind of think at this point in the game that's a little bit wasted in in my opinion because you're not really having a high uh, resource per hour output or your buildings are high enough really to use that system um, in my opinion so i would probably be more likely to go down the routes of getting it into um, the power or um, the focus boost so abundant wisdom or abundant power or abundant might it's actually called now um, on the commanders just for the simple reason that it just makes tiles a little bit easier to take You'll also see from uh, the reinforcement just that we are still using some tier one troops, nice and cheap, easy to kill, yes, but easy to keep taking tiles with at this stage. Um, partly because my secondary com is dwelling and he is only taking 40 tiles. So it's good to keep the troop mix, in my opinion, it means you're not waiting on troops still. Um, I will use tier one troops for quite a lot of the first day, um, just for the simple reason it keeps your army full and they, they are cheap to conscript. So just by us taking those few tiles there, um, just you see another Dwalin report there against the Hergon, which was a nice one. Um, I will probably have to move him up onto 60 tiles soon. As you'll see from the reports that I'm probably showing, when I start looking at 
the kind of three quarter mark of um, troops being left in the army, I start looking at maybe moving people up. But we've just moved into the top 100. Uh, it was quite quick that, but there are quite a few whales in that list. Um, so yeah, we're, we're still competing, we're moving on, but we're making sure we use all the stamina as we go along. And Dwal is nice and easily taking these 40 tiles at this point at level 14, and, and Gandalf is level 15 at this point, I believe. But you know, that's the kind of point with both of those where I would look at moving them on. Um, we are still scouting. We are still moving troops around to make sure that we've got either one or two full armies, depending on where we are. Um, and like you, like you can see there, you know, the scout troops are still as minimal as we possibly can. We are having to move some around. Um, and I know some people have actually said to me since I made this video, wow, you scout 60s. Uh, yeah, I do early season and I, I do think it's worthwhile doing. So I'm just going to leave this to run for a couple of minutes now. I know I didn't do that in the last video, but just so you can just get used to watching a little bit of that gameplay again and, and how it runs around. And then I'll probably make a couple of points about the sort of makeup of tiles that I've got at this point. Um, you know, there is still quite a lot of time in the 24 hours left, but it's probably a good benchmark of where you can be at this stage. Um, so it's yeah it's, it's a good comparison if you can watch back to this point see where you are and and then maybe if you're about there you, you will end up about right on getting the 150s i, I would probably say Okay, so we're just gonna have a quick look now into tile makeup. Um, I know some people think this is really important, what tiles you take at this point, and um, I, I'm not so sure it is. So I've got 760s there, 2740s, 2030s, 815s, and 410s. Now, I know some people are saying, oh, you, you must take loads of grain tiles, or you've gotta take loads of stone and things like that. I'm not necessarily sure you do at this stage. I think you just grab the tiles that suit you the best. Um, stone's always a good one to get, yes, early season, because you do have to build a lot of things. Um, but the actual makeup of those tiles, I don't think is too important at this stage. I think it's just you get the tiles that you're given. If you were in a busy faction, you may not get too much choice in the type of tile that you get to choose anyway. Um, so it, I think it's just best to get the tiles of higher power as possible, not necessarily focus on what resource is on that tile. The uh, other key point worth mentioning on tiles is uh, trying to stay as close to your tile cap as possible uh, without actually ever getting to your tile cap while you've got stamina. 
the closer you are to your tail cap, obviously the maximum amount of resources you can get at that point, which uh, at this stage of the season is is really beneficial. As you'll see from the report that's just coming up here from Gandalf, I mean, that was almost perfect. So at this point, I would definitely say, if not after one more, he is ready to start going on to 90 tiles. And as you'll see by the Dwalin report, I probably left him a tile or two too long as well. And obviously you don't know until... Um, until you sort of move them up onto the next level of tile, how they will perform at that level. But I probably should have uh, moved them both up a, a tile or two earlier. So I could have actually probably maximized my XP a little bit further than what I have in this. So there's no exact science, but every season I do it, I try and learn a little bit more. Um, this is the Dwalin report coming up now on the 60. So that's not bad considering there's some trolls in there as well. There's only just over a unit of actual dead troops. So... When he takes the towel in a moment, that'll uh, that'll be good. Whereas that is not very good from uh, someone in my fellowship. There's a few ouches in there where they probably haven't scouted the towels properly. So uh, there you go. Scout, scout, scout. And then uh, just before we wind this video up a little bit, because uh, I don't think I'm actually going to come on to 90s in this video. I didn't realise there's still 13 and a half hours left at this point. So um, still plenty of time for that. So... I was just going to show you just quickly the build I use with Gandalf at this point, um, which some people probably question, but it, it works well for me, so I'm not going to complain too much. So it should be on screen in a second after this report, and as you can see, he's just gone up a level, which is great. So yeah, here you go. So um, this is where I am at as I go put my extra point in. So as you can see, it's fully maxed grey. Uh, I'm into my friend here, and I will upgrade three peoples at this point. I try and keep them going like that. And uh, it seems to work pretty well. So I guess the key lessons from uh, this video before we probably wind it up because uh, the rest of it, as you'll see, will just be me taking uh, some more 60s using a lot of scouting. Um, are to make sure your ring is, is sort of equipped correctly uh, for the level you're at at the time. Uh, you'll see in a minute a timestamp that comes up that says we're 13 and a half hours left roughly. So like I say, plenty of time to go. And uh, we're upgrading the buildings there with the, the quests that we need and still getting a contribution, as I've said before, really important. And we're up to third in the fellowship rankings of climbing through the power. So this method does work. You do seem to move up the power rankings faster than others. So this is why I've, I've kind of produced this guide the way I have. But um, going back to those key lessons, though, making sure that uh, dominance is maxed is is definitely one when you can get it and um, like i say i don't use the levy system on the ring so um yeah we've we've still got over half the time left uh, there's a few more videos in this uh, yeah, hopefully you've liked it so um i will speak to you next time and um, remember if in doubt um, always follow your nose